Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 33 for Hotel Management System in Laravel. And in this video, we will perform the services. We will perform the read and create operation for our services a CRUD in our admin panel. Okay. In our previous video, we have created our a resource controller, route, model, migrations. It means we have settled our uh, uh, services uh, mainly we have set up our services but now we will implement this in admin okay so let's uh, we have created this index page normally now we will create this first of all we will create the <coughs> add form then we will create the uh, list list page okay <coughs> so let's go to laravel apps total manage resource views and here we have services okay so booking let's open our controller and this is the services controller okay and in this we are just equaling the thing but here we will do return view actually i will i will just copy the customer controller i will just code of the customer controller okay and here we will add the model so use app models and the model name is service okay and this will be service index and data is same okay now let's create this page <coughs> so resources views and here we will add service and this will be our index dot blade dot php okay and we will just copy our customer index copy this Actually, we will copy all the things and paste it in the service section because we need all the things. Okay, so now let's open the index and here it will be services and this will be service because we have already created the resource route. Okay, and this will be title and we will just add image. And we will remove this uh, mobile number. <coughs> okay. And let's add here. Let's add here the ID title. Okay. What we have in the field. Let's go to services. And if I open the structure title small description photo so this is the photo okay now remove this thing and here we will add the service <coughs> okay so we have also need okay we need the data tables so okay fine okay now let's go to refresh this page and this is saying that syntax error, the service controller, syntax error, line number six. So we have, actually we are adding this in, a, we will copy this and add this in a service controller. Actually, we need to add here and this will be service. <coughs> okay, I refresh the page here. So here you can see that now we have a list page uh, when we will add the data then here the list will be shown okay so now let's go to add add section so what i will do i will copy this create and paste it here and this will be service let's copy let's copy all the code one by one okay this is the store method and in this we need title what else small description 
that is required large description is also required photo is also required okay <clears throat> so if if a file has photo then we will save the images folder okay public images folder and we have the field name is title small description detailed description photo file let's remove this thing okay and in this we need this title small description and this is the detailed description let's remove other things okay fine and we don't need these kind of things so this is customer create actually this will be service create okay so we have the things now let's open the create page okay and here we will add add service okay and the full name will be title and this will be also title this is small description okay and this will be this will be text area actually text area and now let's remove this text area <coughs> name will be small description a type we don't need type okay now let's copy this and paste it here and this will be detailed description okay and this will be also detailed description we don't need the mobile number we need photo we don't need the address okay so this is fine now we are ready to create the data and we are uh, we have defined the things create and we have defined the things store okay uh, actually we don't need this email <coughs> refresh the page here so we have this thing now let's submit this so it is saying that full name and other things are required actually we need to we need to change the path of the form so this will be service <coughs> so submit this so title image and photo field is also required so we need to add the span here also okay so now let's add the data uh, why it is showing text area let's remove this fine okay so this is service one and this is small description this is detailed description and let's add the file so we have uh, let's say free images 400 by 400 let's say food so let's add this image submit so it is saying that call to member function store on array so 47 number line so this is the data this is saying store on array and we have <coughs> let's okay so this is saying because uh, we are sending the images as a array but we need only single image okay <coughs> let's add this again so this is title and this is small description and this is detailed description we will choose image and let's say choose submit so here it is saying that class app of omg actually we are doing lots of wrong things <coughs> so data has been created now let's go to browse so here we have data now let's go to view all so here we can see that we have image but not at exactly path 
So what I will do <coughs> from uh, from this show map show page, I will just copy the image path and paste it here. Okay. Now let's refresh this page. So here you can see that we have image. So we have implemented our add and listing section. Now in the next video, I will implement these three sections, view, edit and delete. Okay. In our next video, we will implement this. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please share, subscribe, like this channel. Okay. And please check the GitHub. I am uploading all the code on GitHub. Okay. And please. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook also. I have uh, created a Facebook page so you can follow me. And if you are enjoying my channel, if you are learning something, then please, please support me via ResearchPay or you can support me via PayPal. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.